all the light was blocked. Then I put that magnetic donut over the beam. So the beam had to go down the axis of that magnet where the magnetic field was real strong in that direction. Oh, it did and the beam reappeared. It did a phase shift. It did a polarization shift of the light mm -hmm. using nothing but a magnetic field. Yeah. Which is how we first showed that light has a magnetic component to it. It changes its polarization. It doesn't bend it. It twists it. I'll make a better apparatus someday then I can control it like the people that do this for real. So it's still showing <laughs> Yeah, it's just going through without any Polaroid right now. So it's randomly polarized. And um, actually it's semi-polarized. It's about 85% polarized. But watching it rotate without anything else to counter it, it just looks as bright just from a different angle, different polarization angle. Boy, did you learn anything about Faraday today? Yeah. We didn't talk about Faraday cages. We didn't talk about many of his other inventions. But I did post some videos if you really want to learn from some professionals about Faraday. That you can watch if you like. And we need more Beethoven. I was going to play Bach, but that was a little before his time. In the Google Doc. About how his music came about. About how his music came about. Embarrassing. <sighs> <laughs> 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 